the essential dry herbs and spices that you need for your pantry. Number one, bay leaves. These aromatic, woodsy tasting leaves are typically sold dry. So choose leaves with a rich green color. Add your whole bay leaves to soups, stews, marinades, but don't forget to remove them before serving. Black peppercorns. Now, although peppercorns come in many different colors with a range of different tastes, a must for your kitchen pantry is the black peppercorn. Always pick a whole peppercorn over a pre-ground version because the flavor of freshly ground cracked pepper makes small effort in preparation and presentation so worthwhile. Cayenne pepper. Made from a small spicy red pepper, this is the foundation of many bottled hot sauces used frequently in Cajun and Indian recipes. Chili powder. This is typically made from a blend of dry chilies, cumin and coriander, and a little hint of oregano. Now it's delicious in Mexican and Southwestern dishes. Cinnamon. Now this is a warm aromatic spice and it has a reddish brown color and a bittersweet flavor. It's great for baking as well as adding an earthiness to your curries, cloves. This is a sweet, rich spice and it's one of my personal favorite. It's a staple in baking and it's great used for ginger snaps, but use it sparingly because a little bit goes a long way. Baking powder. Now baking powder is a dry chemical leavening agent, a mixture of carbonate or bicarbonate and a weak acid is used for increasing the volume and lightening the texture of baked goods. Cumin, ground or whole, an aromatic mellow spice, ground from a small seed, delicious in Middle Eastern and Indian cooking. One of my favorite spices, curry powder. Did you know that up to 20 spices, including coriander, cumin, turmeric, can be made up in this popular Indian blend? The Madras curry powder has a very high heat. Ground ginger. Now ground ginger has a more intense and astringent taste than fresh ginger, so use it sparingly, but keep it on hand for baking. Salt. Salt is the queen of all spices and a definite essential for your kitchen pantry. I prefer to use a flaked salt, but you can use a basic table salt as well. Always remember that large crystals in flaked salt are easy to pick up with your fingers, allowing you more control as you sprinkle. Whole nutmeg, a delicate warm spice frequently used in baking. I just grate a little bit down with my grater. It's also commonly used with bechamel sauces or in a sprinkle of spinach dishes. Dried oregano, a member of the mint family. This robust herb is commonly used in Mediterranean, South American and Cajun cooking. Paprika, a powder made from ground sweet red pepper pods. Now this is available in sweet, hot varieties. It's also available in a smoked variety. You're looking for something that is rich and red in color and has a smooth texture. So Hungarian paprika is one of the highest quality paprikas that you'll find on the shelf. We use this spice to season meats, seafoods and vegetables. Crushed chili. Use the flakes of crushed chili to spice up pastas, stir fries or even sprinkle on your favorite pizza. Rosemary. With an aroma of lemon and pine nuts, this herb is used as an assortment to many Mediterranean dishes. It goes fantastic with garlic. Sesame seeds. These versatile seeds have a sweet, nutty taste that complement both savory and sweet dishes. The seeds are especially flavorful and aromatic when toasted, but store them in the freezer. Because of their high oil content, the seeds can quickly become rancid up here in the tropics. Thyme. This fragrant herb lends a delicate flavor to meat, poultry, and vegetables. Now, it's also popular in Mediterranean, Cajun, and Creole cuisines. Vanilla extract, a baking essential, made by soaking vanilla beans in alcohol. Opt for the pure rather than the imitation variety as it has a stronger flavor. And sometimes the imitation variety can taste a little unnatural. 